All right, folks. All right, the Bad uh, Batch. Let's watch the Bad Batch, uh, newest newest film, newest TV series trailer from Disney Plus. A test is in order. Five enhanced clones, more capable than an army. Yet they exhibit a concerning level of disobedience in disregard for orders. What else you got? Give me more! Our squad's nothing but trouble. But we get the job done. It, it's it's flashy. It seems exciting. Because it is. Tick, prepping to jump. Reckon. Let's blow something up. Yeah. And cross here. Your move. I like that they're super We're elite fighting need. force, but this little girl knows everything about them. I want Clone Force 99 found and wiped out. The galaxy's a dangerous place to be. We need to get out of here. What do you say, kid? You want to come with us? How can I help? The Clone Wars have ended. You can either adapt and survive, or die with the past. The decision is yours. We do what we do. Strap in, kid. Yeah, so first thoughts, boys. It's good. It's Star Wars. I'm going to watch it. It's good. I mean, I know the, the the clones from the Clone Wars that ripped out their inhibitor chips. I don't think these are these guys because they still work for the Empire. Mm -hmm. But it should be good still. Um, I was really thrown off by, I think she's coming up here pretty soon, but the kind of bounty hunter looking girl reminded me a lot of Zam Wessel from Episode 2, which I don't think could be possible because she died. It could have the potential of doing the same thing that the Mandalorian did, where we knew nothing about it going in, just the basis. It's Star Wars and could turn out to be something really cool. They did really well with the last few seasons of The Clone Wars, where it wasn't just episodic... Uh, Monster of the Week. <laughs> episodic episodes. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, so I hope they do the same thing with this and actually get some storyline in it. Maybe have some cameos from some regular Star Wars characters. Um, but it's good. Uh, Better and Kisses in the chat says procedurals, question mark? I think this was in relation to one. what yeah. you guys were trying Procedural to call episodes. Kind of... Thank you for that, Batarang. Thank Beep you very much. Beep Beep much. I'll probably do the same thing that I do with most shows and give it three episodes. I learned that after WandaVision. Um, and if I don't like it after <laughs> three, then I probably won't watch the rest. But That's fair. It's Star Wars. I'll give it a shot. Cohen and I watched Resistance. He really digs it. Um, so I think this will be another series that him and I can get into like a new Star Wars cartoon. So any chance to get Cohen into more Star Wars, I'm all for, you know, I mean, there's other shows that I need to watch. So I don't think this will be one where I have to tune in every Friday and watch the winter soldier. Um, right. But probably when it's all out, Cohen and I will sit down and watch three or four episodes on a Saturday, like a rainy Saturday uh, afternoon kind of thing. But uh, it looks fun. I I'm all for squad based uh, everybody's different and we we our difference is what is what makes us strong it's yeah what do you think you're I, not a huge star wars guy to begin with you know the tv shows were never really something that stuck out to me uh they, they like all the clone wars and all the other stuff uh i just there, it seemed like and as we spend more and more time in the star wars universe i feel like we're just rehashing the same old stories and i get that this is a new story but it's still about clones it's probably still going to be touching about the same uh, themes that the Clone Wars touched on and such like that. I'm sure it's still going to be a good show. Dave Filoni is uh, helming this project um, along directed by Brad Rao. But I, I'm I don't know. I like I, you know what? I'm, I'm going to wait for you two to tell me that it's amazing and I have to check it out and then I'll check it out the same way I did with Mando. Oh, yeah, sure. It only <laughs> took us six years to get you to watch Mando and the show's only been out for two. <laughs> 
Hey, I, I was um, all caught up on the, the day before the uh, <laughs> the day before the finale because <laughs> you crammed it <laughs> and loved it. Loved every minute of it. It was great. Great show. Anybody who hasn't seen The Mandalorian, go watch it right now. Yep. Um, but I get what you're saying, Rico, because I'm I mean, they could make a million series within the span of uh, the nine trilogies or the nine movies, the three trilogies. And I would watch all of the shows, all of the movies. Um, but I want to see something else. Yeah, I want to see something like that Mando. doesn't take place. This is, um, Mando was not a retelling of an old story. It was not. It was no characters that we knew about. It was all new, and I loved it all. And it was Mando was of. a Star Wars show that didn't didn't throw Star Wars in your face every time, you know. And and I'm worried that this just might be a lot too much oversaturation. Oversaturation, like not not that like having too many star wars shows is a bad thing i just think that when you watch this series on its own it's going to be like hey remember this character from that movie or that character from this show and and all these yeah. other events and it's going to be like that every episode and i'm worried about that because mando wasn't like that at all mando was like it's mando 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 and then the last two episodes were like remember this remember that and i was like ooh, yeah season two is a lot better with uh better slash worse with bringing in characters from star wars that you already knew like ahsoka tano or Luke Skywalker. Spoilers for Mandalorian. Um, it's going to be, I hate to say it, it's going to be fluff. Uh, if they were smart, they would end the first season in a way where it, it is ambiguous. It could set up a second season, but it could end after the first season, and I honestly have a feeling that it's not going to get a second season because they're not going to get the viewership. I don't know who this character of like the little girl is. That's a character that's not a Jedi that's just like there's something special about her but she's not a jedi she's some sort of fighter warrior i'd rather see a series about her dealing with stuff in the in the in the universe um then see more clones see more jedi like as much as i'd love to see more jedis and i'd love to see more clones um i want to see a story that takes place in that universe outside of what we already know give me something i don't know about that universe so yeah this you want to see that. what happens to the little kid at the end of episode eight <laughs> broom kid which broom is boy basically, basically, yeah broom yes. boy which is basically yes. what this is <laughs> yes i want to see that that was the bad batch uh, let's give it our ratings, boys, and tell me what you think. Uh, so for me, the Bad Batch trailer, uh, I'm gonna give it. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna give it one know-it-all little girl. Just one know-it-all little girl. You know, she's she she knows way too much. How could she know so much about these this elite group of fighters? I just don't understand. She's some she's some sort of obviously. Look at her. She's standing around a bunch of troopers. She's some somebody's daughter. She's That's, somebody. That... On the left hand side, that's a Kamoan for sure. Kami Noan for sure. Kaminos. Like yeah. The, Kamino yeah, like the cloner. So she's this is probably on Kamino. Too tall. At the cloning facility or somewhere like that. But she's obviously, yeah, like Richie says, she's obviously some sort of royalty or something, like a like a young mm. princess of so, of sorts. Right. Yeah. I want to I want to see the world. I want to see what's out there. Well, come on, kid. Let's let, let's show you. You can leave it on this frame right here. I'm gonna give it two perfectly sculpted eyebrows out of four. Ooh. Hey, royalty, man. Um, I'm also going with the half score theme, but I'll go five Clone Force 99 troopers <laughs> out of 10. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah. And they are, they all, they're all different shapes and sizes. Yep. But how can they be? They're clones. They're clones. They're clones. Yep. So that's right. They're all different shapes and sizes. So every boy out there can find someone who looks just like them. Sorry, girls. Look, guys. Star Wars is not for you. <laughs> You're so special, the just second, like everyone else. The second from the right is me. Oh, but no, pretty soon you'll be pretty no, soon you'll is. be I'm like the, the one on the right. Uh, I'd say more so like the uh, the one in the middle on the left, maybe. Second from the left, yeah. Yeah. The sniper guy. That's the plan. Yeah. Yeah, that seems like more like Richie. I think Richie's a camper kind of guy. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. And I make that noise when I shoot. Pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think Shuby's more like the run and gun. I think that's more like Shuby. Shuby's the guy who's like in your face with the bang bang and the boom boom. Oh boy, you, did you ever peg that wrong? Really? <laughs> no, I stay as far back as possible, man. If anything, I'm like a sniper. Uh, Get me out of the action. I, I'll I'll pick them <laughs> off from afar. 